Okay, so I'm watching John Oliver right now, and he's exposing school police. And I have to just say something right now. Fuck, po fuck school police. Fuck cops. Fuck the cops, man. They're awful human beings. Okay, so in Florida in 2021, I didn't even know about this story, but this fucking pig took a girl, slammed her on the ground, knocked her out, and he was cleared of Ron doing. And he's like talking and saying, it's unfortunate what happened. I'm like, no, it's unfortunate that you're not in fucking prison, you fucking pig. And, and, and the sheriff and everybody, they're all like, you know, they support it. See, that's why the system is fucking broken. And it's funny to me how everybody's like, you know, upset because of defunding the police. That's why we have to defund the police. That bullshit right there. The police are literally killing us. That's bullshit. They act like the fucking military. And you know what? Cops are terrifying. I'm sorry, but cops are terrifying. I don't look at them like some people look at them and they're like, oh, wow, look at the police. And they wave at them and I'll see kids high fiving cops. I don't look at them that way. I look at them like terrorist thugs. I look at them like... I, I look at them like they're scary. I look at them like... I, I'm sorry, but when I see a person with a bulletproof vest and a fucking gun and fucking handcuffs, I stand very far away from them. I look at them as intimidating. I look at them like a deranged psychopath. And the problem is with school police... They are a bunch of mentally deranged douchebags. I mean, think about how many times school police has abused and harmed kids. And you know what? Statistically, they do more harm than good. Because uh, John Oliver uh, was talking about there was a study that was done of researchers. And it shows that school police actually don't do anything. If a person is going to cause harm to students. They're going to cause harm to students. And if a person is, is psychotic, they're useless. They're absolutely useless. There are some cases where they have been heroes, but that's like two incidences out of how many now? We've had over 200 fucking mass shootings in this goddamn forsaken hellhole. And we've had over 100 people that are gone. And I have nieces and nephews. I want... If children are the future that everyone says... Everyone says that. Children are the future. Then why don't we make them the future? Why don't we protect them? And why do Republicans always beat around the bush? They do it all the time. They're like, we gotta get more prayer in schools. This is why... Because we don't have God anymore in schools. We don't... We, we, we need to have trap doors. We, we need to have one door in and out we gotta have a, a blanket that you throw it's like how about you just give her the ar-15s you fucking pussy how about you do that motherfuckers that's what i don't get about fucking republicans that's why i can't stand republicans why do they beat around the bush why can't you people just listen and just go you know what you're right it is the ar-15s and then you've got like that thug that terrorist thug like Kyle Rittenhouse shooting like a goddamn like Browning or some shit some fully automatic machine gun making a threat against Joe Biden saying you know come take our guns away on Twitter and saying you know go ahead Joe Biden go ahead and try and take our guns and that kid killed two people that were unarmed because he's a coward who doesn't know how to fight. And everyone's looking at him like, oh, he's a hero. And he's not. He's a thug. And he's a wimp. And he's got all these um, supporters, which is weird. Um, and everyone's all upset about this whole drag thing with pizza, which I don't really give a fuck. To be honest, look, this is what I think, all right? I want to talk about that, too. This whole thing with the whole um, thing, 
kids are being kids, but the thing is, nobody's getting pube blockers or whatever, and they're not cutting their dick off or whatever. I don't know where people get off thinking that. Um, but the thing is, um, uh, I, I don't, look, I don't know anything about gender dysmorphia, all right? I don't know anything about that. I don't know what it's like to, I, I honestly don't know what it's like to <clears throat> wake up every day wondering what it's like to feel like you're in the wrong body. However, I do know what it's like to wake up every day wishing I didn't have autism. I do know what it's like that some days you wish you didn't exist. I do know what it's like that sometimes you feel like you're a freak. I know what it feels like that sometimes you feel like people don't understand you. I understand that sometimes how it feels like how some people don't accept you and they don't like you. So, in my opinion, I don't have a problem with people expressing of who they are. If a kid wants to wear makeup and wear a fucking dress... Who the fuck cares? It's not hurting anybody. I'm serious. I mean, the whole medical stuff, like the all that stuff, I that's a whole different topic. I don't want to get into that. But the whole but the makeup stuff, that stuff washes off. Who cares? It's no different than you religious people forcing your kid to get a fucking baptism and forcing your kid to be in your religious cult. You make them wear a cross, you make them go to church, you make them read the Bible, and then you tell them all this stuff about them going to hell if they don't worship God. And you tell them that they're broken, you tell them that they're sinners. You, you put all that shit into their head and then you scare them to be a Christian, which I think is abusive. So for a kid to express himself, to wear makeup and wear gloves and wear a dress and 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 to you know wear makeup and fairies and rainbows and unicorns like i don't i don't see that problem it's i mean kids are into weird magical freaky stuff like that anyway so i don't i don't think it's that bad i mean it's one thing i mean i understand like it's one thing if if like the kid was dressing like super risque and there was like you know, like if it was the movie Cuties, then I can understand. Like, what the fuck is this? Then I get it. But um, I saw a picture on Twitter where there was these people with uh, these Trump supporters and they had girls in thongs. And there was like these gay kids in drag and they were flipping off Trump supporters. I thought it was funny. But to be honest, I, I don't think there's anything wrong if, if a kid wants to wear glitter and and wear a dress and, and if, if, if they're not forcing it on the kid, that's the thing. If they're not forcing it on the kid and the kid just wants to express himself and he's like, hey, I want to wear a dress and I want to I want to wear makeup and put eyeliner. And you're like, OK, son, I'll buy that for you. And then and then he goes, I want to be a girl. And they go, OK. And then you just let them express themselves and let them just be themselves. Then I think that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, because the, the reason why I say this is because, you know, religion um, really fucked me up as a kid. Um, when I was 13, I had sex with my neighbor and he's Mormon. And, you know, I was figuring out my identity. And that's why I get into arguments with Christians a lot. And that's why I just don't want to hear them or listen to them when they speak. Because I know what they're going to say and I don't want to hear it because they're judgmental, they're assholes or dickheads. So I don't give a fuck because, you know, religion is toxic and I just don't want to deal with it. That's why I want to get the fuck out of this house. But, um, but the thing is, I figured out I was pansexual because it was like, you know, I had sex at a very young age and I really loved him. And when you love somebody and you care about somebody, then you figured out, hey, I don't care about the gender. You just care about the person. Like right now I'm talking to this person on Instagram and she's transgender and I like her a lot. So that's my point. Like there's no change there. And that's why I get kind of annoyed with people who 
are annoyed by this whole thing of Pizza Hut because it's like, I don't care. I don't give a shit. It's like, if kids want to wear drag and they want to put on makeup and, you know, wear a dress, I, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I don't think it's that big of a deal. When I was a kid, I played with Barbies, with my sister's Barbies. I mean, I was experimenting with different things. It wasn't forced. I wasn't forced to play with my sister's Barbies. I thought it was funny to make them naked and have all of the Barbies naked and do Super Naked World where everybody was naked and they had orgies. And I was like 13 or 14. I thought it was funny to put them all in an orgy and fuck each other. I thought it was funny. I saw it in a porno and I thought it was funny. So, I mean, that's my point. So I was like 14, a teenager, and I was doing that. So, you know, nobody forced me and I thought it was funny. So if, if it's not forced and the kids are just experiencing experimenting and they're exploring themselves then yeah i don't have a problem with it if if i had a son or a daughter or non-binary or whatever i wouldn't care if my kid one day said hey i want to wear a dress and go to school with makeup i'd be like all right i mean there's i i don't see the problem i really don't like i've seen so many different people in my life i just look at them as okay you're a person like who gives a Fuck, like we're only on this planet for a certain amount of time. It, it doesn't it, it doesn't concern you. You know what I mean? Like I'm more worried. This is what I don't get about people. They get upset over the wrong issues. I'm more worried about people who are starving to death. I'm more worried about people who are dying from wars and 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 the violence from mass shootings that we constantly have in this god forsaken country i'm more worried about that stuff i'm more worried about you know the economy of, of making the world a better place for people to live I, I i you know the homelessness that kind of thing like about other people i i don't give a fuck about a kid in a dress i'm sorry i just don't give a fuck i wish other people would just not give a fuck i don't care it's not important it really isn't if, 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 if you're getting outraged because some person is in a dress and they're like 10 or whatever, then you've got fucking issues. It's not your concern. Who cares? It's not your child. I mean, look at you take your child. You took me to a fucking church and it made me an atheist. So congratulations. Your church made me leave and it's funny and the thing that really is offensive to me too i get really offended and annoyed when people say that they pray for me because they want me to come back like my mom like gets upset at me because she thinks i'm broken or or that i'm lost my way because i left church it's like i'm not doing drugs you know what I mean? I'm not, it's not like I'm becoming a worse person. It's not like, it's not like I left Christianity to go draw, to join Satanism. It's not like I left Christianity for Scientology. I, I didn't leave one cult to the next. I, I just left. I, I wanted to be my own person. I don't want someone controlling me, dictating my life. I don't believe in a higher power it just doesn't make sense to me i'm a practical person i see things for what they are like i see a television i see glass i see my ceiling fan like i'm telling you what i'm seeing right now in my bedroom like i see my costa rica burlap bag i see you know my autograph pictures you know i see my bernie sanders fight the power uh picture um my new york abstract art you know what i mean like but i don't see a fucking deity i don't see a fucking god i don't see a fucking jesus or 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 a or a uh, or a supreme being or or whatever an orb or whatever the fuck they call it i don't see that that's the problem like i don't believe in faith it doesn't make sense to me why would I believe in something that I can't see? That doesn't make any sense. I, I don't I don't get that. 
I mean, I can take something like music and play it and you can hear it and you know it exists because you can hear it. There are things that you can do in this world and you know firsthand that it exists. There's evidence of the existence. There's absolutely no evidence of a supreme being. That's my point. That's why I, it's very impossible for me to believe that there's a God. It just, And the other reason is it's very hard for me to believe in a God when children are dying. Like when I hear, like when Parkland, like seriously, when, when my grandmother died from ALS and she was a Christian, she loved God, right? My grandmother was suffering from ALS. I saw her drinking an icy from a straw. That broke me. And then what happened to my friend that died from DVT? And then, you know, all these things that were happening parallel from each other. Uh, it just, it hit me and I just went, you know what? Fuck this shit. I, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. I, I'm done with religion. This doesn't make any sense. So I took the Bible and I threw it in the fucking <laughs> Uh, fireplace and burned it because I just I just realized that this is not working. I just realized it's it's pointless. It doesn't it, it doesn't do anything. And then my dad just told me that he's on the spectrum like me. But it's funny to me because then he brings up this stupid story about the <laughs> about Noah's Ark, and I think that's hilarious because that is the most bullshit story I've ever heard. There's no way in hell that story ever happened. There is absolutely no evidence that happened. Here's why. Because there is no way that you can get fucking penguins from Antarctica to go on a voyage with a 500-year-old man on a wooden boat that was smaller than the Titanic. Also, there is a tree in Sweden that's 6,000 years old which is way older than what that voyage was. So it's impossible. That's why I think it's funny. It's like, there's absolutely no way. There's too much evidence to prove that theory of the Great Flood is complete bogus. And then Jesus had to fart a rainbow, and then all the gays had a great orgy on <laughs> Voyage, and then they butt fucked all the hippopotamuses. <laughs> I'm kidding, <clears throat> but I'm just saying it's very aggravating that story. When I when I first heard that as a kid, I laughed so hard. I was like, "There is no way that's real." That's the thing. I think it's funny when religious people make fun of Scientology or they make fun of all these other religions, but yours is just as batshit crazy as everyone else. Like the rapture? That sounds just as crazy as fucking Xenu going in an, uh, in ice in the fucking volcano and then flying up into a DC-17. That sounds just as fucking crazy. How is that not as different as psychotic is the fucking rapture? When I heard the rapture thing and I watched that stupid... Left Behind movie from that whack job Kirk Cameron. I knew that was bullshit. I was like, there is, that is not fucking scientifically possible to have your clothes missing and everything falls out and then you just fly into the sky. There's absolutely no proof of that. Like, like Stranger Things. Like you flying into the air and then telekinesis powers to control things. It just, it can't happen. It's physically and humanly impossible. I don't understand where people get off thinking this crazy stuff. I mean, how much... Like, what was the stuff that they smoked when they had that burning bush? Like, what was that burning bush? That couldn't be marijuana. That had to be something else. That had to be, like, meth or coke or something. Someone was doing coke when they wrote the Bible. I'm serious. Anyway, thank you for listening. But yeah, the Bible is horseshit. Um, cops don't do their jobs. Um, defund the police. And thank you, John Oliver, for being a shining light to the world.